Hi there, welcome to Math Magic 4, Chapter 4 and Part 4. In this chapter, we are going to see uh, what are the different timing formats. And uh, before going to see such timing formats, let us uh, switch uh, to our PPT. And then we will see what are the different types of uh, timing formats are there. Okay. So uh, before starting the video, so I would, I would like to... Uh, request the subscribers i mean not the subscribers i would like to request and then the new visitors to click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon and then click the like button and then click the quick share button and uh, it is a must uh, for a new visitor to this uh, website to click on the red button definitely you will be click clicking on the red button below this video okay and uh, similarly, if you want uh, to get the links from where you have to uh, connect to my videos and everything, I will be giving at the end. So don't forget to watch it up to the end of this uh, video. So coming to the first slide uh, of this uh, fourth uh, part. On 15th May 2006, Chandran went to a shop to buy butter. He checked the packet to see if this butter was safe to eat so we will be often uh, going to shops and we will be purchasing food right so it is a must or it is a mandatory for us to check when it is packed and how uh, long we have to uh, use it i mean what is the safe time to use it even it is it holds good for medicine and even it go, it holds good it holds good for almost all products which you are going to purchase either from the street or from the supermarket or, or from malls. So for, uh, for him, uh, uh, for Chandran, uh, when, when he went to a shop, right? So he purchased a butter and he, he saw on the packet best before 180 days from the date of packing. Then he checked the date of packing. It was 15 1 uh, 2006. So this book is published at that time, I think. So I, they have used, they are using 2006 only always. So help him uh, find out if uh, he should buy this butter or not. So in Jan month, uh, was the uh, was the butter packed? When in which month the butter was packed? In Jan month, it is very clear that 15 1 2006 uh, means it is uh, january we know that uh, the format is dd mm and yy so we will be getting uh, this uh, 15th january 2006 similarly in which month was the butter packed i mean the next question after that is in which month was the butter packed is january so which month will it be 180 days after 15 1 2006 so 180 days from 15 1 2006 uh, will be uh, it is just like from january how many uh, months if you calculate you will get you will be getting 180 days so uh, roughly uh, by removing here and there those uh, like uh, 31 and february only 28 so roughly if you calculate in a month 30 days are there so you will be getting six months right six into three is 180 30 into six so 180 days so roughly i'm i'm writing here so if it is uh, like this 60 30 into six it is 180 days so how many months it is six months so from January, if you calculate the six six months, so which month you are going to get after January, you will be getting February. Up to February, it is one month. Then March, okay, and then April, and then May, and then June, and then July, okay. So like that, you have to calculate the number of months from 15 one to this one okay i already wrote answers uh, and then after that i took pictures 
so january is the first answer in which month was the butter packed and in which month uh, will it be 180 days it is july can chandran eat it on 15th may 2006 obviously he can eat okay so because it is up to uh, not only june it is up to july so so you can definitely use you eat it but provided uh, it depends upon the again uh, the conditions terms and conditions on the butter um, labels okay they will be telling that these are the things uh, like if the seal is not open okay or otherwise they will say it if if it is open then try to consume it as early as possible okay within one month you have to have it so if you didn't open it then on 15th may you can definitely eat it okay so do you ever check the date of packing of uh, things you buy yeah i suggest you i suggest every one of you to check such kind of uh, things this is a small activity for you today after completing uh, watching this video you also start checking the product what uh, your father brought or what your mother brought to your home then uh, you check what is the date of packing what is the date of expiry and what how many months okay so how many months uh, best before will tell us what is the date of expiry and uh, have you seen on medicines there will be expiry date yes so written on them it will tell us after which date it is unsafe to take that medicine and now coming to the next slide what are the other uh, things that uh, come with an expiry date so cough syrup is the one which will come with an expiry date manufacturing date is 73 okay and then uh, this shows that it is it is uh, made in july 2003 they are not writing complete date format here only 73 they wrote okay so he, he mentioned clearly it is july 2003 seven indicates july and three indicates 2003 similarly they have written expiry date is 75 okay because on that uh, bottle it is not possible to write a big big uh, things and if they write everything uh, it will become very small for us to read so they will be using simple shortcuts so they wrote like this you can see here on the bottle manufacturing date even he is using a uh binoculars or uh, some magnifying lens to check uh what is the date of manufacturing and uh, what is the expiry date so they wrote expiry date as 75 so this uh, shows the month and here till uh, when it is safe to take so till this time it is safe to take that medicine again here again the condition is if the bottle is not opened okay if the bottle is open then you have to consume it as soon as possible so this shows uh, the month and here till when it is safe to take so which month and here is written as 75 so as per this rule it is july 2005 i wrote it here it is july 2005 So will it be safe to take uh, the cough syrup in September 2005? Yeah or no? So because it is safe to use only up to July. I mean July 2005. So after July only we, we will be getting September. Then coming to the next slide. Uh, here in this next slide, uh, this is uh, there is nothing. Uh, it's only conversation between uh, people are there here. Uh, Toton school has closed from um, for the summer holidays uh, he, he, he went to grandmother's place along with his parents he met uh, a lot of his cousins there he was enjoying himself and he don't want to go back okay so but what the mother of uh, tutun says pack your bag the train leaves at 5:30 in the evening oh no we are going back so soon i wish we we miss our train so probably his wish may come true okay let us see totun and his parents reach the station at 5:15 so they are on time so his his wish may not come true but guess what they had actually missed the train they are in the right platform they are at the right time but they miss the train you can see the totun is saying hurry hurray that uh, means 
I am not going back today. Can you guess why they miss the train? Even though they are on the right platform, even though they are at the right time, why they have missed the train? So out of the curiosity, his father went and asked uh, the station master or whoever it is. So he is telling that uh, actually the train had left uh, in, in at 5.30 a in the morning. Tutan's parents were upset. They asked the station master, our ticket says 5.30. But sir, this means 5.30 in the morning. Oh yes, how, how could I forget that? The railway, uh, the railways will be using 24 hours format. Okay, for evening it is 17.30. They will write 17.30 for evening train. Have you heard uh, in the railway stations uh, or have you have you seen any display boards in the railway station they will be using only 24 hours format at 1730 the train from so and so place to so and so place uh, is going to uh, arrive and going to uh, leave the uh, arrive and departures they will show with the help with with respect to 24 hours format only okay so this tutun is asking why because they use a 24 hours clock now <coughs> look at this chart it tells the difference between your watch and a 24 hour clock try to complete it you only written the first one it is one o'clock in the afternoon is 13 hours two o'clock in the afternoon is 14 hours three o'clock in the afternoon is 15 hours okay and then similarly you have to write six o'clock in the afternoon is 18 hours okay all you have to do is simply add this particular value to 12 okay so and for 9 9 plus 12 it is 21 21 hours okay and uh, 12 plus 12 it is 24 but there is no 24 so in a 24 hours format time starts at 0 0 0 and then it will be going up to 1 it will be going up to 2 3 and then so on so on so on so on so on up to 23 then the clock again rolls back to 0 okay the timer roll back to 0 in this case so 23 after 23 we will be getting 0 0 that is 0 hours it is midnight okay so <coughs> see here 12 plus 1 13 plus 2 14 plus 3 15 and 30 3 30 means 15 13 you can even write uh, 15 45 something like that here uh, if you ask that question 16 means uh, 18 and then it's okay 6 o'clock means 18 9 o'clock means 12 plus 9 19 plus 2 21 and then 20 to 12 o'clock at midnight is 00, 0 hours okay so like this you have to calculate the time now uh, can you tell why a 24 clock is so called can you tell why a 24 hour clock is so called because in a day there are 24 hours and we are writing with uh, respect to that, that particular uh, number only so it is called as 24 hours clock suppose the train leaves at 8 30 at uh, night so at what time the railway ticket would would be so as i told just now add this 8 to 12 it will be 20 20 30 okay 20 and 30 there will be no am pm here just simply write 20 30 okay so but here again the logic here is uh, they have mentioned clearly night okay they didn't mention pm here but in the ticket for them their parents to tones parents it was 5 30 so they thought that it is evening okay but it is as per the railway timetable as per the railway timings 5 30 is morning okay evening means 17 30 
so in a 12 hours clock each time comes at twice uh, in a day 5:30 comes in the am and it comes in in the evening pm so what about 12:30 in the afternoon okay so 12:30 uh, will be uh, it, uh, it it will be in the afternoon uh, it indicates uh, how much so he is asking 12:30 pm means what how much what is 12:30 pm or uh, 1 pm like we have seen uh, one o'clock uh, and then uh, it, we wrote it as 13 hours and he is asking us what about 12:30 in the afternoon okay so it is uh, simply uh, we can write 12:30 we won't mention pm so we will write 12:30 okay so 12 noon uh, is 12 and after that we will be using pm in a uh, uh, normal 12 hours clock but in a 24 hours clock we will continue so 12 30 then after that we will get 13 instead of 1 we will get 13 so that is uh, that is 12 30 uh, pm after 12 o'clock right so at noon we will use pm till midnight so i explained just now so this is about uh, the chapter 4 oh, sorry there is one more slide you must have noted uh, the time of uh, sunrise and sunset right here um, using am and pm so sunrise will be uh, from the previous uh, parts we have seen sunrise is at different places like it is 5:45 am and then sunset will be 6:30 pm okay so he is asking us to uh, write uh, that sunset and sound uh, sunrise with respect to am and pm and he is asking us to write uh, where you have seen 24 hours clock just now we have seen railways okay so in 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 uh, in railway uh, systems i mean in railways we will be using and in in airports we will be using the same okay and then in some of the tvs or some of the smart watches okay uh and then we will be using uh, in pc in some pcs they will be following uh, this 24 hours format only so this uh, comes to an end uh, of chapter 4 so we have uh, Uh, come we have uh, discussed about uh, everything um, starting from how we have to read a clock from the time i mean how we have to read time from the clock then we have seen date formats and then we have seen even time formats okay so uh, click uh, the subscribe button and then click the bell icon to get continuous updates from my channel and then don't forget to click like and then click share and if you want uh, to have a uh, tuition uh, one to one tuition from me then log in to this website okay so this is my website uh, and log in to that website hanu7.com and and then you can find all these links in the home page in the landing page only at the bottom you can find all these links to all these pages you can follow uh, my video in all these uh, platforms youtube facebook anchor twitter and linkedin okay of course in anchor it is not possible only podcasting will be there so in twitter and linkedin uh, also i i am not posting as of now i am posting as of now in youtube and facebook so follow me in youtube and facebook for all the videos which i am posting here in this uh, youtube and uh, if uh, you would if you want to take uh, if you are interested in taking one to one tuitions from me then don't forget to click on the link in the description below uh, and then mention that you are coming from youtube you are a viewer and you have come across my video and then you are subscribing uh, for the tuition then i will be giving a special discount for such student okay and for the not students this is for the viewers those who are uh, watching this video those who are interested in video editing i am I, i will be uh, showing you the 
version of the software which I am using here and the same link is provided in the description below so click on that link to purchase it uh, from uh, Filmora website okay. so that's all for today thank you and